My long-awaited book, Astrology Realized, is finally available and waiting for you at Amazon and other online retailers. Get one for you, your loved one, or as a gift. All part of your fabulous journey to understanding astrology. Enjoy. Fabulous Taurus, welcome to your Love Focus Horoscope for 2014. Thank you for being here. Your ruling planet is the goddess of love, is Venus. And you start the year with Venus appearing to go backwards in the sky. This is her retrograde motion. It happens about once every year and a half or so. And when your ruling planet goes backwards in the sky, yes, there's a material element to this. But of course, this is the goddess of love. So there's a love element to this as well. And this is you getting clear on what you love, what you have attracted. There is that element of it. But what I am seeing more than anything is that you're looking at your life. You're looking at the love that you have or the love that you want. And you're thinking, does this match the vision that I had? as a very young person, when I was wishing on a star as to the kind of person or partner I wanted, the kind of love life that I wanted, does my reality actually match that? And where it doesn't, you are going to be asked to examine yourself. You're going to be asked to examine where it is that the vision separated from the reality, what you can do to bring yourself back into alignment with the vision, or at least find a compromise between reality and something that can also be real, something that's also reality, but is more in alignment with a more, a more self-loving version of love and partnership that you know that you deserve. You're looking at how the relationship status is right now and how what's been and how that actually does match or doesn't match, who it is that you believe yourself to be but also what it is that you believe that you are worth. Now, for some Torians out there, I'm seeing this actually go really deep, a real process of soul searching, really looking at some, in all honesty, a very healing process, certainly, but looking at some really painful moments of the past. And there is a possibility that, again, in all honesty, there is a possibility that some very surprising and very quick moments sort of trigger a remembrance of relationship past, ghosts of relationship past, and that in turn allows you to see more clearly why you made the choices that you did and how now you can, if you want, decide differently based on who you know yourself to be today, knowing that you deserve greater love than perhaps you believed in the past. But you know, Venus retrograde is very classic for old lovers coming back. And so do be mindful of that. There is that possibility and they're coming back for you to get clear as to why you wanted this person in the first place. What I am seeing for you more than anything, actually, whether you're attached or whether you're single, this can apply is that somebody from the past does show up and maybe you had remembered things very differently than what the reality was. And now you get to see, oh, okay, this is who this person is. This is not a nice person. That's a very strong possibility for some of you out there as well. And so do be open to that because it does look like you are going over old ground where it comes to love, especially in the first part of the year. Those of you who are attached, as I said, you may be going through this process anyways. The love that you have now, again, you're examining it. You're getting clear with yourself as to why you chose this person. Those of you who are not attached right now, you are going to find yourself having these reflective moments with new people who in some way remind you of people that you have connected with in the past. And the familiarity helps you to appreciate how far you've come, where it is that some lessons need to be solidified is all part of that as well. Ultimately, Venus going backwards is about allowing yourself to receive love, saying I'm worth having a really great love. And you're looking at how much your reality actually matches what you wished on, as I said, on a star when you were a child as to what love would be. Where's that disconnect and how can you lessen that disconnect? I do think though, the really big breakthroughs where it comes to love, you'll probably have to wait until the fall of 2014 
that's when you're going to have a solar eclipse in your opposite sign. So in the beginning of the year, just be mindful that stuff starts happening for you where it comes to love right before you even end the year. Walk the process. What I am seeing for you is you sort of get to the end of March and you were like, what was that? What was the point of all that? But the point will become more clear. And the first point becomes more clear once we get you to the end of April and into May. And that's when you're saying to yourself, I'm better than ever and I've got so much more to do in life and in love and I'm going to go out there and do it. It's a very self-focused time. But really the new attractions, the new chapters in love happen for you once we get you into October and November. And that's when a lot of the stuff that you go through, I promise you, a lot of the stuff you go through in the early, early part of this year really comes home more fully, really comes full circle, really reaches your heart much more deeply once we get you into the fall in the later part of the year. And there's reason for that as well, which will become clear at that time. There's reason why you sort of need to sit with the experiences that happen. You'll have that clarity and you'll think that's it. And you'll also think that there was no point but then the fullness of just what the point was and how much better you are for having walked the experiences and love that you do become much more clear once you get into the fall. All in all, it starts off really exciting. It starts off with you being aware or being made aware of where you can welcome in more love, maybe where you have some barriers to a deeper love than you've known before. And as you heal that, as you open yourself to that, you are slowly but surely, surely preparing yourself to a very fresh and very new and very empowered chapter later on in the year.